Hyde Park, Coppice, Caravan and Motorhome Club. Coniston, and that's the reception and where you come in. That's the pizza place. We're going to be munching oh, yeah, down there, cut across. Munching on the pizzas later. Yeah, only because you forgot to get anything out of deep freeze. Mm. Moan, moan, moan. And uh, first impressions, don't like it. <laughs> we'll see. We don't like it. It's busy and we... Um, it's really big. It's busy, big, and we had didn't really like any of the spots, to be honest with you. All the best ones were taken, but it's just the way it is, isn't it? It could warm on us. We shall see. Mm. The first look at Coniston Water. Because you sort of send me waste your day, don't you? Mm. So that's Coniston. I'm not sure which one, although you can't see him now anyway. There's the old man of Coniston. Possibly to climb? We don't know. You need to do that one over there and go look at the size of that chimney. Okay. Well, we're heading back for pizza. Oh, look at the size of his chimney. Oh, yeah. He's got many. As you'll see in a minute. Well, start again. Oh, your phone's ringing. Bye. <laughs> We're heading back for gin and tonic and pizza. Quick drink at the Udale Inn. And I'll stroll back. And just so everyone can see. There are the chimneys Dave's on about. Well, that's as good as it gets. We'll do another one in a minute when we pass by. Uh -oh. Seems like a lot of hard work for your chimney. Hmm. Looks a bit like James Bond when he went to Scotland and had yeah. it, and it all blew up, didn't it? Wow! Look at Just those. That sort of look feel. See straight through it. Oh those yeah. Windows. You can. I could, I could have a horse and carriage and charge down there, couldn't I? Yeah. Out those doors. Charge! What a strange building. Merry trip up the old man Coniston. There's a steep climb up here so far on the road. Yeah, it's um, definitely burnt two beers off climb. But, uh, we believe in the cloud is old man Coniston. Out on the pathway to old man Coniston. One scar car park. You want to park there first? Yeah, you can cheat. You'll only have done half a job. Exactly, you won't have burnt off two of your beers. Here we go. Uh, the lake is um, over there, directly in front of where we're looking now. Just over that little crest. Um, yeah, this is the path uh, on the way to the summit of the old man of Coniston. Uh, there's a few people in front of us, so it's going to be easy. I think we just follow them, really. but. Uh, we've got the maps loaded, so it's just about coming out of the cloud, I think, by the looks of it. And I'm sweating already. <sighs> yeah. Climbing up just to the car park. Uh, yeah, it's all good fun. Dirty beer. Yep. Maybe gin and tonic later. There you go, look, there's a few people in front. Bit of a... Little ant's going up. Little ant trail, yeah. 
we just passed a guy coming down. It's only half past ten, so he must have set off at six thirty in the morning. Gonna. Let's take your miles just to get up then. Yeah. Such a gentle incline at this bit. There are some big climbs coming up. There are. Coming out of the uh, lake. Okay. And then dropping back down to the second lake after it. Okay. Going up to the clouds. Follow the ants. There's the car park in the distance. Uh, we're probably behind that car park on the edge of the lake. In reality. Uh oh. GoPro's crashed. <laughs> Panic. I think it's brightening up for us as well. I think so. Oh, this is tough going. We're on the old uh, quarry tramway, if you like. What's left of it? No sign at the top yet. Up. Oh, get your heart rate going. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's a long way up. I'm uh, so unfit. <sighs> there's one of the tramway towers collapsed. You know, getting. We're getting a lot of height now. If you had your watch Dave, you could have told me. I could. <laughs> Which way now? It's up there, isn't it? Around the edge of the lake, I think. Supposed to be a blue lake, however, <laughs> today's skies it actually looks a black lake. What are you look, doing to me? I don't know, the dog's not even out of breath. Look, I know, I'm coming back as a dog. <laughs> Uh, look at the sweat. <laughs> ah. I swear this this video is going to be a, somebody like heavy breathing down the phone or something. <sighs> oh, Luna, you'd go that way, wouldn't you? Are you shouting? Excuse the heavy breathing. Oh, finally, a dog that's out of breath. Ah. Oh, this is the hardest bit. Oh. There's Coniston, top end of the lake. And we walked up that road there to that car park. Don't know if you see this on the GoPro because everything looks miles away, doesn't it? And flat. Yeah. So, uh, we're nearly at the summit. There's people right up there. I reckon we've got another 20, 30 minutes to go. Does it look alright? You right?
nearly there. Back in the cloud. Right there, Luna. No, this way. Stay there. This. Stay. Over there. Stay. 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 Literally, it will be downhill from now on. <laughs> so we can see nothing! Did a mountain! Woohoo! What marvellous views, not. Well worth it. Run! Okay. So that's the next ridge. And go all the way down there, drop down into the lake and back to Coniston. Oh, you moaning, Luna. I've stopped for a second. One second I've stopped for. Maybe at this point we're not doing that ridge. We're dropping down there. How's that lake? Ha ha ha. Result. now. Massive those are they? Yeah. This is why you walk up a mountain. Mm. Stroll of 18 kilometers. Yeah, hopefully, this one's a bit flatter. I can't remember where we're going now. Some tar, yeah. Um, well, anyway, we'll post it. Um, but yeah, just look at this. So, that's the old man of Coniston, and it's uh, totally clear this morning. So uh, the weather forecast for yesterday was wrong and the weather forecast for today is wrong. And it's turned uh, out to be beautiful at the moment. So one wonders whether we should have done it today. But given the information that we had, I think that yesterday was the best day. Ah, weather forecasters. There's another view of the old man of Coniston, actually with Coniston in the foreground and that in the background. It's uh, looking slightly different now, the light's changing, a bit more uh, definition to it all.
dog. It's going to be another scary moment. Come on, it's coming towards me. It's very hairy. Good morning. You shouldn't have said anything. Bev <laughs> told me to say good morning. <laughs> I'm not taking her advice again. Don't speak to cows. Uh, another nice little wood now on our return leg to Coniston. We're on a major route, aren't we? Yeah, something way. <laughs> Probably Cumbria way, something like that. Wait. And there's Coniston. We're nearly back. And, uh, the rain is just starting to set in now. You can see it over the lake. Feeling cooler. Um, see if we can make it in. Maybe have um, a beer and a sandwich. Made it. Made it to the crowning. Cheers, darling. Cheers. This is Coniston Coppies Park. Motorhome caravan club site. Um, it's quite big, over 200 vans um, up that way. Up that way is reception. Uh, there are several wardens, um, which I can describe as efficient. Um, also up reception way, you can have pizzas on a Tuesday. Which was lovely and fish and chips I think Wednesday and Friday so if you don't want to cook um, I'm not going to show you the whole site because it's really large but it's basically little enclaves jettisons all over the place uh, you don't have to park a certain way which is nice not so regimented and there are lots of water points and bins, several motorhome service points, a few toilet blocks, that's the play area. And down that bit there you can go to the water and I believe you can launch your boats, canoes, paddle boards etc. don't know if it costs any money. Um, but you can go straight onto the water there. Uh, you can drive down this main road through the site and direct to the water's edge. You don't have to be a member of the club site of the club to uh, book the site, and there are glamping pods. Um, what else? Oh yeah, it's about a 20-minute walk into Coniston. Uh, you can get via that way down by to the down to the lake or from the top of the site I believe there's a pathway. Uh, Coniston's a nice little village um, with several shops and pubs. Uh, we 
went to the Udale Inn and the Crown Inn and dogs were allowed outside, I'm not sure about inside but at this moment in time humans aren't allowed in either um, oh no, so let's go this way it's a very quiet sight, no road noise oh. wait, I have to go, Danny's doing a poo Um, yep, so about 20 minute walk into Coniston, so that's quite good, uh, it's a great spot for walking, there's been lots of bikes I've seen around, so I'm assuming it's good for biking, obviously we haven't finished Senna's trailer yet, um, so it's in a good location, I just can't warm to the site, so, but very good for exploring here. And on that note, I will say goodbye. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. And we'll see you next time.